Uh, we wanted to talk some about composition in photography, because even with a simple camera you can have really interesting composition. Um, so one, one kind of basic beginning spot is to think about the rule of thirds. So if you picture your frame divided into, into thirds, um, you can put the main subject on one third and, and leave an empty space, or if you have two main objects, put them on the two, the, the third markings. <laughs> So, um, and also if a person is looking one direction, you want to put the head in the third angle and the direction looking in the empty space. That kind of makes it so that it doesn't look like they're you know, looking right off the frame. They, they have some space in the photo. Uh, you can also think about um, positioning and where your own body is located. So, uh, you know, instead of having the average, you know, for me, of kind of a five, six uh, photo, at every point, you know, my eye level, try to think about, you know, getting the ant's point of view and ly actually lying down on the ground and pointing up or, you know, climbing up on a ladder or a chair and shooting down and getting that wider perspective and wider angle. You can also think about shooting through objects. So if I, uh, and framing an object with naturally what's around it. So, for example, I was doing a photo shoot with a group of sewers and I, I got down on my knees and put the woman's head behind the sewing machine. So I was actually using the sewing machine to frame her head and focus on her face and on, on the work that she was doing, but around her you can see the sewing machine. So in that way it's framing the artist in their own work. I want to talk a little bit about lenses, which can be intimidating at first. But this is a basic camera, it's a uh, Canon Rebel here. And the lens I have on here is a 17 to 50, which means that um, the zoom can go from 17 millimeters to 50 millimeters. Uh, 17 is a pretty wide angle lens, so I use this, I use this um, lens for basic kind of street photography. For, I start with this lens when I'm doing a photo shoot because it gives me the wide angle, but it also gives me a little bit of zoom. Um, the, the aperture here is also important, and the aperture is, is essentially the, the iris of the camera. It shows how wide it can open and how much light can come in. So the, the um, f-stop is what determines that. This lens has an f-stop of 2.8 at the lowest. So the, lowest, the lower you go on the f-stop, the wider the iris opens. So you think in low lighting situations, you want a wide iris, you know, just like your eye lets in a lot of light. Um, so you want a low number in the f-stop. Um, so here you can go down to f2.8. On a cheaper lens, it might be f3.5 or f4.5, which will be a little harder to work with in low light. Um, the f-stop also determines the depth of field. So at an f2.8, the things, uh, in focus will be in focus, but then the, the things right behind it will be a little blurry. So this is good for portraits, it's good for um, detail work when you want to focus in on a maybe a ring that someone made but make the rest of it blurry. The aperture and the shutter speed work hand in hand along with the ISO. It's kind of a triangle that they all work together and you have to balance them appropriately to, to get the right exposure. So if if you go lower on the f-stop, you have to go higher on the um, shutter speed. So this lens is, base, is good for kind of basic street photography. I have another lens here that goes down to a f-stop 1.8. This is really good for detail work because it will really have a narrow depth of field um, and it's good for low light as well. I have another, light, uh, another lens. This one is a 70 to 200 lens. I use this a lot in concerts so that I can get really good close-up shots of performers. Um, and it's also good for, you know, if you're far away at an event to, to be able to get, uh, you know, some detail work done. The last thing I wanna show is this external flash. This flash is good so that instead of using the, the kind of on-camera flash, which will give the deer in the headlight kind of look, um, you can actually put this flash in the shoe on top and either bounce it off the ceiling so that the light fills the room and gives the, the subject a softer look, or you can put it, point it directly on, um, but, but turn it down so it's not quite as intense 
and um, just fill out fill out the shadows a little bit so that like under the eyes you don't get a deep shadow mark or in other uh, you know facial features it just fills in the light nicely.